Hello, today we'll be creating a blanket sales order. To begin, I'll search for the blanket sales order page. A list of existing blanket sales orders can be found here and the opportunity to create a new one. Blanket sales orders have a similar layout to that of sales orders. First, I'll select our customer, John Haddock Insurance Company, then I'll go to the lines. For this demo, I'll be raising a blanket sales order for items. Our customer this time would like to purchase 1900S, the Paris guest chair black, in a quantity of 200. A quantity of 200 of an item uh, in this instance can be viewed as our customer intending to purchase this over the course of the next year. You can assign specific conditions to a blanket sales order. And as our customer is buying our chairs in such a high quantity, we'll assign a discount on the item of 15% of the unit price. This means that when we create our sales order from this blanket sales order, the new sales order will contain these conditions. So let's move on to creating it. Our customer is unlikely to buy all 200 in one go. Instead, we'll be looking to purchase in groups of 50. Moving to the quantity to ship field on the lines, we can adjust this based on how many our customer wants at this moment, which is 50. If necessary, we can also enter shipment dates and other detail. To create the order, we go to process and make order. Business Central will create an order for 50 units as we specified. And once again, we'll see a difference in the number series between the two types of document. Now that this is done, to get to the order, we'll go to line, unposted lines, orders. This gives us a list of all of the currently created outstanding sales orders associated with this specific blanket sales order. Currently, we can see just the one line for the quantity of 50 that we've created. When you begin posting these sales orders, the blanket sales order will be updated to reflect that. And I'll show you this now. From this page, I select the order and I can go to show document. And with this order, I'll be aiming only to ship the quantity. To do this, we go to posting, post, specify that we only want to ship, and then hit OK. We can now see in this order that we have a quantity shipped of 50. Returning to the blanket sales order, we can also see that this has been reflected here in the quantity shipped field. It's also automatically populated the remainder of the blanket sales order for the next sales order that we wish to create.